Hi, my name is Shane Silas. Welcome to Mockup Monday number nine, where I try to show you something cool. So for a while, I've been talking about robots and game development, and what I would like to do is kind of push that aside for uh, for this episode, and we'll just do something completely different. <clears throat> uh, this is essentially a project that I've been working on on and off for a while. It's been my... Uh, if it existed in the App Store, I wouldn't bother, but it doesn't. What it is, is essentially it's Emacs for the iPhone. And there's a number of kind of hangups uh, with trying to get that to work, mostly the corded key binding. So Emacs is a programmer's text editor. Uh, the iPhone is okay at generating text, like for doing texting and email and that sort of thing. But what I find it not very uh, well suited for is editing text. And that's a lot of times the stuff that I feel like I need to, where I feel productive is editing papers or code or that sort of thing. And Emacs is a great uh, text editor. So this uh, app that I've uh, developed is essentially an experiment in can you get an Emacs-like experience on the iPhone? Um, so I'll just show it to you guys. Let's see, get this video going. Hello. So this is Qt Emacs, Quick Touch Emacs. It's a derivative of Q Emacs, not G and U Emacs, because I figured this would be easier to get going. So here's the screen. Uh, there's your mode line, and you know, let's let's try this out. So the big problem is corded in uh, corded key input like Control, Meta, Shift. So the tack that I've taken is this. Um, it's almost like a kind of our, Harking back to the uh, the uh, Palm Pilot, so uh, let's say uh, hello. Okay, hello. Okay, there we go. Um, so down here is essentially the unmodded, um, no modifier keys, and uh, up above it is Shift. So if we say H for hello, and then I. Um, oh, that's an L. Okay, so <clears throat> I've kind of forgotten what I drew for these things, but then here we have control. So let's do a control A, and then let's do a control E, and you can see it moves the cursor around as you would expect for Emacs. Um, and let me just show you kind of what the character set is. So here's the character set, um, and the nice thing is that you can you can essentially change this to whatever it is that you prefer. If you want to have your A symbol be like this, then you know you just put it in there. And now you've got uh, you've got both kinds of A's. You've got oh you got this one that I had originally and now you've got this one. So you know because Emacs is built for you to configure it the way you want it to work. And actually a lot of this the features actually are you know working pretty well. For instance, let me try this again. Uh, um, I'm trying to split the screen. X, Control X2. Oh, it's doing a Z. So as you can see, the trying to figure out what the character set should be is actually a big problem. And this is one of the reasons why uh, I wanted to make sure that people could make their own and then share it, because I don't think I'm going to come out with the right one. So here, for instance, you can go ahead and you know, share this as a tweet. Um, let's see, oh yeah, <laughs> great, you guys can see some mock-up, uh, some weird code in here. Anyway, uh, I'll just say mock-up Monday. Woo! Um, and uh, so the tweet shares the image, and inside the image is all the embedded data for uh, the text. So people can just, the image is da the data file, which I think is a cool feature. And, you know, if this whole, like, little Palm Pilot-y, you know, Unistroke uh, thing is not to your liking, you can switch back and you can go ahead and do, you know, Control-A, uh, Control-E, you know, do all that, uh, you know, with a regular keyboard, which might be advantageous sometimes. Um, I don't know. But anyway, that is my uh, demo for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. All right. Bye-bye.